And good evening. Off the top at six tonight, we begin with a bizarre arrest of an NFL player who was seen running naked outside of a child learning center. And when deputies arrived on that scene, the NFL player refused to be arrested. BSO says he went on the attack and assaulted a deputy. Let's get right to local 10's Andrew Perez live in Deerfield Beach with our top story today at six. Andrew. It's just incredible. Keep in mind, there were so many people around when all of this went down, including children, by the way. But first, I want to go ahead and I want you to take a look at a new video just into our newsroom. It shows the actual attack itself. The video is oh. actually pretty intense. You see who deputies say is Malik McDowell walking completely naked around a learning center and a few businesses in Deerfield Beach. And then out of nowhere, he rushes a BSO deputy that was responding to the area, hits him repeatedly, punches him. Remember, we're talking about a six foot six, 290 pound professional defensive tackle in the NFL. That deputy was pretty badly injured. Authorities were called out here in the first place because this man was just wandering naked on private property. I was uh, shocked to see someone walking around. Walking around in the buff. Linda Lagun's initial thought. Get out of here. <laughs> you know, don't be part of it. Immediately enacted the security protocols and uh, put the center on lockdown. The learning experience in Deerfield Beach acted quickly. Code red lockdown. A suspicious man seen in this video was walking around campus and right away they knew he was off. Roaming the parking lot um, without any clothing on. Um, and seemed to be um, not himself. Deputies say the man is Cleveland Browns defensive tackle, 25-year-old Malik McDowell. Staff notified deputies that McDowell was roaming in the nude around the center, which caters to children six months to six years old. The report goes on to say that when deputies arrived, McDowell cursed at and lunged at the responding officer, charged at full speed with a closed fist. The bruising and swelling on his face has gotten worse since the incident. In court at his bond hearing, we heard all about the injuries. McDowell's attorney telling a judge there's much more to the story. Apparently, uh, somebody may have uh, slipped him something or given him something that he was unaware of, which explains some of this be uh, bizarre behavior. McDowell, who's six foot six and 290 pounds, appeared in 15 games for Cleveland this season alone. He's faced several legal issues, including a DUI and a scuffle with police in 2019. The Browns saying in part, quote, we are aware of the very concerning incident and arrest involving Malik McDowell and are in the process of gathering more information. And keep in mind, he's also not from Florida. He's from Michigan, but right now he is in jail in Fort Lauderdale. We're waiting to see when he bonds out.